Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first news episode in quite a little while here at the Combat Collective. At least our first news video that isn't William Shatner related, that isn't just jokes and memes. Hello, everybody. This is the Combat Collective, bringing everything you want to know from the world of robot combat, from the heavyweight class to the fleetweight class, from BattleBots to the live circuit. And yes, we've talked about a lot of exciting BattleBots developments over the past year. Like I mentioned at the top of the video, from World Championship 7. Some of the things we learned from various podcasts, um, BattleBots, Destructive Thought, of course, from various sources there. We got our own sources this time. Very exciting. I mean, this is something BattleBots has never done before. It's a bold step in the right direction, and it's gotten some buzz, but we're here to maybe generate a little bit more buzz. Maybe if you haven't been in the know, don't know what's going on with the uh, Proving Ground events, aren't too savvy with it, we're here to talk about it. Bring you guys to light. It's so exciting seeing all these new robots line up, robots on the bubble. It's going to make for a better world championship field, but let's quit hyping it up. Let's talk about it. This is the Combot Collective, of course. I'm your host, as always, Sterling Brown, a.k.a. Quarty Three Hundredth. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. We have a Discord server where we do live recordings every Friday. It's all great, but our biggest asset, our biggest site we want to talk about here. It is robotsroommylife.com, our sponsor here at the Combat Collective. Robots Room My Life is the merchandise provider for numerous robot combat teams on the East Coast. We just had Norwalk Havoc a couple weeks ago. Machines like Shredder Bro, Blackbird, Wake and Bake, you know, numerous Shredder Bro, Omega Team robots. They all have merchandise on robotsroommylife.com. Also on robotsroommylife.com, of course, BattleBots teams. Shredder Bro, Star Child. It's a shame they didn't make the playoff cut, but you know who did? Ripperoni. They made the cut, and they're in the field this year for the round 32. You can buy their merchandise at robotsroommylife.com from their uh, pizza, little pepperoni poker chips from their Ripperoni pizza boxes, tote bags, t-shirts. They have everything for all sorts of robots and their own logo merchandise. Be sure to check them out, robotsroommylife.com. But here we go, guys. Let's talk about BattleBots news. Talk about the developments with Proving Ground. And let's just get the big, basic question out of the way, guys. What is Proving Ground? Well, it was announced late last April by Robot Death Company and BattleBots, something we talked about on Robot Combat tonight a little bit. BattleBots Proving Ground is a new series of uh, matches, not really events, designed to be a new way alongside paper applications for BattleBots teams to show off their robot's ability and try to find a way into that year's world championship as either an alternate or maybe if they're impressive enough as a main level main field competitor. And this uh, event series will be incredibly beneficial for new teams, which may not have the most exciting design on paper to show it is in fact an amazing robot. In fact, uh, we were able to talk to uh, BattleBots co-founder Greg Munson about developments for this upcoming event. And one of the first things Greg shared with us is that uh, Trey Roski once stated that La Machine, it would have not been accepted in the Robot Wars 95 just off the sheer looks of it. But once you see it in action, it gives you a completely different perspective. And, you know, a good example of this uh, outlook is the recently very popular Manta. You know, they applied to BattleBots last season with little to no fanfare behind it under the name Drago. Even us on the uh, applicant rundown, we really weren't that excited about it. But after its recent dominant performance at Robo Games, where it went like 5-1, and one, it's become one of the real talks of the sport. These Proving Ground showcases aren't going to be your typical standalone qualifier events like we saw back in the days of early Robot Wars, but instead will act as special showcase matches at upcoming Destructathon shows, where these matches will fill the spot where they would normally have a showbot fight. One would assume they would probably get rid of the uh, Nightmare vs. Slot Machine bot that they've been peddling a bunch in the past couple of months. And BattleBots is looking for all sorts of new applicants to compete inside the BattleBox, from brand new concepts to Comedy Central competitors, and they've even opened the door for bubble teams and alternates from 2022 World Championship 7 to come back and sharpen their blade and improve their stock for better placement. And you know, while we were talking to Greg, he made it clear that BattleBots knows, you know, some of these fights are going to be spectacular, some of them may be blunders, and we may even see some robots fail to leave the starting square. 
But as long as the Struckathon is running, and it seems to be running pretty good right now, and the permanent venue is in place, these teams can come back and compete as many times as they like during these live shows. But that's our general introduction out of the way. Let's talk about some robots and fights. That's what we're here for. And to start off, it is May after all. What's happening this May? So in case you missed it, Proving Ground action actually kicked off during the weekend of May 6th and 7th, last weekend, while we were doing Amidst the Havoc. And here we saw two brand new robots who we discussed in our social media compete versus one another, both of them making their robot combat debuts. These robots were Disarray, a compact four-wheel drive dual vertical spinner which came from the University of Arizona's robotics program, our second ray-themed vertical spinning heavyweight to spur from Arizona in just one month. Very fascinating. And it took on a robot coming from Team Pterodactyl and from veteran roboteer Bob Niemeyer with the robot Pterodominator. I'm sorry, Pterodominator. I like my dinosaurs. I don't know why I mispronounced that. Uh, Terra Dominator is a large, and I don't hyperbolize when I say a large, two-wheel drive lifter slash spinner combo wedge bot, which Bob built all the way back in 2019 with the intention of getting his uh, grandchildren and son interested in robot combat. These two unknowns would go fin to fang inside the battle box over the first weekend of May, with these two robots fighting twice, once on Saturday's show and once on Sunday's show. This appears to be the norm for all the fights coming up ahead too. And we can now report here that this array defeated Terra Dominator in destructive, dominant fashion on both days of the weekend. Terra Dominator got Terra Dominated and suffered some serious damage over these two fights, especially in the first fight of these two. Um, lost both of them by knockout. So shoutouts to Disarray, but moving on forward to what's coming up ahead, the second weekend of May is instead of uh, all newcomers, it'll be a showdown of all alternates instead. Two robots which were at the BattleBots 2022 World Championship 7 event, but failed to make the main cut. One well, robot which we have seen on BattleBots TV a couple of times this season, and one which we saw at RoboGames a couple of times itself, just under a month ago. First, we have one of the initial robots to announce their participation in the Proving Grounds in Slamo. And as usual, as we expect from Team Danby, from US live events to extreme robots to BattleBots, it's not common to see a Danby miss a heavyweight opportunity. This will be the combat debut of the brand new pink clad Slamo 3.0, a suplexer robot which has ditched the top clamp in favor for an arm similarly built to robots such as Krusty Grab or Retrograde. Much less complex, but hopefully more reliability. We know that Danby's been chopping at the bit. This robot was supposed to debut at Roby Games, but family complications came up. It's going to get going, and you know... Speaking of reliability, it's going to be, as of right now, subject to change, of course, facing Doom. According to Greg Munson, there is yet to be one team to take more advantage of being close to the battle box than Alejandro Pena, LA's team APD, with uh, Doom. The team has expressed interest about showing up to fights in June and July as well, but as for now, it looks like the Hammersaw will have its first fight since Roba Games and its first known fight in the battle box period, Later this month against Slamo. Very excited about this one. But now, according to Greg, week three in May, there won't be a Proving Grounds matchup of the week. I'm not too much of a Vegas guy, but apparently there's a big-ass EDM festival happening that weekend. And shows aren't trying to compete with it, including BattleBots. But week four, we have our third and final Proving Grounds fight, which we wish to discuss here in depth. You know, week one was all rookies. Week two was all alternates. Week 4, it's a unique mix to cap off the month of May. And with veteran presence coming all of the way back from Arizona is the powerhouse Team Small Robots with their 2022 rookie flipper, Banshee. This will be Banshee's first outing since BattleBots and since whatever happened during the Golden Bolt tournament. So this means whatever happens here, we're going to be seeing a wildly different, hopefully a heavily upgraded Banshee, which will be a menace inside the box. Hopefully better reliability, maneuverability. And hopefully a better flipper because they're going to have a very respectable challenge to kick off their Proving Ground campaign in Texas's own Snakebite. Now we've discussed Snakebite and Team Boombots here in the past quite a bit at the Combot Collective, whether it be RoboGames videos or applicant rundowns. This robot was signed up for RoboGames until the very end of the deadline where it became one of the competition's many last second pullouts. But after so much time in robotic limbo, it looks like we are finally going to see this robot in action at the Proving Grounds event at the end of the month. 
Fingers crossed, of course. Um, according to Greg Munson, Snakebite is a grabber lifter hybrid, which features an incredibly unique airbag lifter system, something which Greg seemed quite eager to see in action. Battlebots love testing out new methods for weapon power. I mean, just look at Blip a couple seasons back. That was so exciting. So hopefully the Southern Snake can turn some heads, maybe put up a good fight against Banshee. But that's all we have right now for what's happening in May. But uh, that's not all we have for what we're talking about here in Proving Grounds. During my talk with Greg Munson, Greg didn't want to share too many details about what was coming during June and July, obviously, because as we said during Robo Games and many of these live events, things are subject to change. But since our discussion, we have seen some updates from BattleBots, which fill in some of the slots, which, uh, which show what we should be expecting in the summer months. So in the first weekend of June, Doom, who, like I mentioned, really taking advantage of location here, will have hopefully its second Proving Grounds outing. And this one will be versus another veteran, a fellow wild design from California and Horizon, Vertical Spinner versus Horizontal Spinner. We mentioned on Robot Combat tonight that Horizon felt like the perfect bubble robot to come sharpen its blade, or blades, I guess you could say blades, at Proving Grounds and Destructathon events. Very interested to see these two wild weapon concepts collide. And then there looks to be another two-week gap, where as of right now, nobody has signed up, or maybe they're just putting off fights again for another reason. We're not too sure, but after that, we see some fascinating new names, a group of new robots headlined by Manta, the 2023 RoboGames winner, and as of right now, TCC number two overall robot, who looks to get back to number one with two wins, hopefully, over Atomic Pumpkin, an unknown newcomer who, as of right now, the only thing we know about this machine is that it's armed with an egg beater drum spinner. So it's going to be two drums going at it inside the battle box. Should be excited. I certainly feel bad for Atomic Pumpkin. That's a tough rookie draw. But then in July, we have two more known meetings, one between veterans and one between new robots. On July 1st and 2nd, currently penciled in, a brand new novelty robot named Travis T will take on a wild card here. Excited to see this. Coming all the way from Comedy Central Season 4.0, Maximum Paralysis, who has not fought since 2003, but is reportedly set to have a brand new third version built for a hopeful return. Will it still be a lifter? Only time will tell. The last two versions were. And then, somewhere in early July, we don't know the exact date as of yet, we heard from Las Vegas Combat Robotics, and as we shared on social media, a battle between veterans here, Jackpot versus Gigabyte, may go down. But since this fight is not on the schedule, there may be a delay in this fight's occurrence, maybe some new opponents, but once we see this, hopefully this matchup will be electric. But there we go. In terms of dates, fights, and robots to expect, that's all we know right now about these Proving Grounds fights upcoming. Of course, keep an eye out on the TCC overall rankings. As I mentioned in the past on Robot Combat tonight, these are sanctioned fights in the 250-pound class. And they will be factored in to our overall rankings. So as of right now, we're already looking at uh, Disarray at 16 points. Terra Dominator at negative 16. Kicking it off hot. But hey, listen to this. BattleBots is still accepting applicants for both World Championship 8 and Proving Grounds. And originally, there was only one way to send in a robot. And that was via the traditional paper slash online application for BattleBots. But Greg also shared with us that there's a new way to register robots with BattleBots. And this is hopefully going to be the primary way to register for Proving Grounds moving forward. Write this URL down, book.battlebots.com. It is the new system moving forward. If you're a heavyweight builder and you're looking to register your robot for upcoming Proving Ground events or World Championships, this is going to be the way forward for you guys. You're able to register multiple robots in a single builder account. You're able to open up a big 2023 schedule, which allows you to pick specific Destructathon events, which you would like to compete at. And you can even apply for specific world championships ahead of time down the line. And once more get confirmed, uh, talking to Greg about this, he's hoping that this will take away deadline pressure away from teams. I mean, the whole website looks fantastic. We have it on our corner screen right now. Everything's straightforward and simple, but it is worth noting to all of our casual fans out there, our hardcore fans. You cannot see other robots that have applied and entered on these pages. It's not similar to the RoboGames Builder site. So please leave the account making to the builders. The only reason why I did this here was so I could supply to you guys what the website looks like. What you're saying here is pretty much everything the site has to offer. It's not, it's very nice looking, but it is a little bare bones. Not too deep. It's not, it's a have a whole meet the robots page. So nothing crazy like that. 
So please leave the account making to the builders. But hey, builders, once again, the URL is book.battlebots.com. Come along, people. We want to see some amazing Destructathon robots. But that wraps up everything. We know right now for BattleBots Proving Ground, and I am so excited, from uh, the veteran presence from robots like Jackpot, Gigabyte, Slamo, Horizon, um, and even the new robots. Disarray is off to a hot start. We're going to have another Manta Ray-themed robot and our Robogames champion Manta appearing. A Comedy Central OG and Maximum Paralysis appearing for the first time since 03. Um, a veteran team, a veteran robot like Terra Dominator already getting torn apart. Hopefully we can see them maybe make a second run once the robot's repaired up in Oregon. There's a lot of exciting developments here. We also got Banshee as well, a novelty robot. Nobody knows what travesty is yet. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Stay tuned because I, we have talked to Greg Munson. Hopefully we will stay in touch so we can provide you guys more updates for a June video, maybe even a July video on what's to come of Proving Grounds as we're already building up the hype for the 2023 BattleBots World Championship 8 season. We're excited here at the Combot Collective, but let's go ahead and wrap up this news video. I am your host, as always, Sterling Brown, aka Sterling TXTG on Instagram. If you like what you're seeing here at the Combot Collective, please consider following our Instagram and Facebook pages. That's where all of our news uh, efforts go out first and foremost. Uh, usually we have little stat posts on our social media there. Um, news posts, like we mentioned, we're going to have a big post regarding Indian teams and NHRL coming up fairly soon on our social media. Uh, and we also have a Discord server. We record Robot Combat tonight every Friday at 7 p.m. Central on that server. We have builders on that server from both the U.S. and the U.K. Uh, guys from Team Shredded, guys from Team Mammoth, guys from Team Jackpot, even some uh, guys that are in Extreme Robots coming up over there. It's an exciting crop of builders, an exciting crop of fans. Go over there and chat. We got fantasy tournaments, fun projects fans are doing. It's great. Um, and, of course, right here on the YouTube page, if you like what you're seeing here at the Combot Collective, subscribe. Ring the bell icon for every single upload notification. Like the video and leave us a comment. Give us your thoughts on Proving Ground, your excitement. Let us know if you're maybe attending an event. Maybe you're going to see one of these robots fight uh, firsthand. That would be very exciting to see. And, of course, constructive criticism. We always want to get better here at the Combot Collective. But we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for watching another TCC news video. I am your host, as always, Sterling Brown. And we will see you guys next time for more robot combat tonight, more robot news videos, and everything else TCC has to offer. See ya. This was the Combat Collective. Find us on Instagram and Discord.